box. Two weeks for letter. Okay, not be two weeks you talk. Two weeks. These days, your babe will send you a text message. Five minutes later, she will send you another text message. Baby, did you get my last message? Why can't you respond? Now I call my wife. I say, honey, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm busy. She say, eh, what of it was an emergency? Why didn't you respond? I said, which kind of emergency will come, will come make you the same text? So I'm robbers to come house. You will carry your phone. Honey, some arm robbers just came into the house now. Please reply. Honey, I said the arm robbers just came. They have guns. I'm waiting for you. Won't you? If you emergency, then you will call me. Women don't spoil. But guess what? Women, they are like gifts from God. So even if they don't spoil, you have to accept it. Adam was the only blessing. Eve wasn't supposed to be there. Adam was bored. Eve now came into the picture as a way to keep him company. So men, the next time you see your wife or your girlfriend, consider them as a gift. Because they're not supposed to be here. I'm telling you, they're not fosters. Now we supposed to suffer this suffer. I'm telling you. See what happened. He and Adam was alone. They give him Eve. Now, if you need something, like they give you a gift. Say they, they give you the iPhone X. A gift. The new one. What will you do? You hold it. You, when you get home, you set it up. Early morning, before they break, you don't carry the phone. You open up. Open up. They go Instagram. Go Insta blog, insult people, comment, go Facebook, go WhatsApp. Before you now turn to look at your wife, say, honey, good money. The real gift, they here, you know, greet her first. You carry the fake gift. And women, they're like phones. I'm sorry to use that description, but women be like phones. Like your phone, when you open like eight, ten apps, the phone they hang. I mean, then what do you do? You come put off the app, you close the app, or you reset the phone, hard reset. Women, be like phone. As women wake up, all their mind now different things to do. She will wake up. Oh, the kids they need to iron their clothes down at one app. <laughs> oh, they need to cook. What are they going to eat? Oh, they eat Indomie yesterday, so they need to eat rice this morning. Another app. They need to um, take their bath. Another app. My husband needs to go to work. He's late. I need to cook his food. Another app. Oh, my husband, I've not done this one. I've not cleaned the kitchen. I've not cleaned the toilet. See different, different apps. At some point, they go hang. That is when they say those they are rubbish. When they go, like, <laughs> now app hang. For men, what a man is supposed to do then is to do what you do to your phones. What do you do to your phone when the phone hang? If you close the app, call the center. What do you do to your wife when your wife hang? You can shout for her. Why are you shouting? All you need to do is to close the app. How do you close the app? Say, honey, don't worry. I'll take the kids to school. That app don't close. Honey, don't worry. I'll give them food this morning. That app don't close. Honey, don't worry. I'll do this one. That's how you close the app. She will turn reset. Do you understand? Simple things. Now when you talk about wealth. Oh. Oh. Money good though. The person that said money is not everything. I suppose slap her. Now, poor man talk with that. Money is everything. Right after oxygen. Now, money. Waiting past. Take up. Right after oxygen. Anything else. Now, money. And you cannot talk about wealth without talking about Abraham. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, what's it called? Uh, King Solomon. Sorry. King Solomon was worth two trillion dollars. Then. So which means by now, it will be 200 trillion. See money? In money plenty, to the point that he had 700 wives. Yes. And 300 concubines. Yes. See, the place on quiet. So women will be only wife, not just quiet. Say, ah, not true. Now 700, another man can't. Why they shout for my husband every day? But that was how it was. But guess why he was able to pull it off? Because there was money. Too much money. 700 wives? What? And guess what? All the 700 wives were all from royal blood. Which means their papa gave money. But he money too much. 
the papa they are money small. Now the 300 concubines, let me make it easy for you. It's called side chicks. <laughs> but Bible make a day nice. Concubines. Guess what? If they change the name of side chicks now to concubines, women will be vexed again. Say, look, when your husband side chick be that, it's your girl. But if I say, when your husband concubine be that, eh, she's not bad, sure. I'm just kidding. That thing is never nice to anybody. But, but notice how powerful a man has to be to have 700 wives. Now, Apple just celebrated $1 trillion. This man had $2 trillion hundreds of years ago. Apple celebrated $1 trillion. Now, King Solomon, let's value his money at $2 trillion, which means Dangote. Femi Otelona. Zach, uh, Mark Zuckerberg. The Amazon guy, all of them, their money nourish in tight. <laughs> Think of King Solomon tight get money past all these people that I just mentioned. Which means the tight of a tight. <laughs> man, there's wealth, man. I'm telling you the truth. But let's not talk about that for too long. We're here to celebrate technology, we're here to celebrate the future which is where we are going to. Now we talk about the fact that the youths of the children are the future. Yes, they are, but there are some things that they need to get right. We are always busy complaining and blaming the government, but what has made Nigeria what it is today is not the government, it's people like you guys. What you people are doing today, these are the things that make Nigeria great. The fact that somebody can go to his app and do all these things. The fact that we, the musicians, are going out to celebrate, to represent the country. That's what's making Nigeria great. But people are always busy complaining. The government, it's not the government. The problem of Nigeria is not the government. It is us. Simple. And if I tell you what the problem is, you believe it. It's fish. Fish. It's fish. Fish that you eat is a problem. Scientifically, it's been proven that fish has omega H3, right? It improves your memory. It improves your memory. So you remember better. So these politicians that are coming to give these our people one bag of rice, one granite oil, if they eat enough fish, they will remember that they are the same politician that gave it to them four years ago. So they won't do it. But when they give them bag of rice, granite oil, and five, they don't give them fish. So all they give them is carbohydrates. So they will eat and forget that this same person that gave us a bag of rice, they will now vote again. If nobody's eating fish, I'm telling you. See, see what Savage and Tea Bills, they broke up, forgot, and got back together, and forgot again. See, be square. Those ones, they don't even eat fish at all. They will break up, come back, break up, remember, come back, break up, come back. We need to eat fish in this country. Now, if I ask you, how did I start my performance? What was the first thing I said? You guys have forgotten we need to eat fish this night. <laughs> I'll see you guys later this week. I took out the jacket because I wanted to be free. I was standing there, one guy asked me for water. <laughs> I looked like one of them, right? Anyway, um, the, the past MD that just spoke, I don't know where he's seated right now, um, Mr. Charles Key. Ready? Right. <laughs> I can't see him. Oh, he's over there. Oh, see there. there. Can we give him a round of applause? That was, that was well done. You know, I like, I like men that can, you know, really very eloquent, talking, you know, very, he was in command. Do you understand? And that's how you know the rich people. The rich people, they don't, they don't talk fast. See, when he was here, it was like, so ladies and gentlemen, Next year. See, everyone was just quiet. That's the thing about rich people. Their life is so different. Their lifestyle. Me, I was born in a Jegule, Uzo Street, 40 years ago. I just turned 40. It was last week that I got my first allergy. I have never been so proud of myself. Do you know that it's by allergy you know a rich kid? Yes, that's the truth. My son, they give my son, they give birth to him here. He did no allergy, but my daughter, my second, my second daughter, America, she has allergy. Wow! 
She can eat apple. It's so nice. Because you know, for a long time, because I was hustling and hustling, and I was no allergy, but allergy is how you know. God, it's so cool. Like when you, you go like when you go to the ask her, would you like to eat um, sh um, shrimps? She said, no, actually, I'm allergic to it. <laughs> Rich people say, all these things that they say, I won't lie to you, it's only poor people. I'm, see, let me ask you, um, Mr. Charles Key, I'm sorry. Since you were born, yeah, have you ever been sleeping and wish <laughs> was pressing you? Like you could not wake up, you shout, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> has it ever happened to you before? Please be honest. It has never happened. Mean, see how? So why? <laughs> Is it that it's only poor people that have those testimonies in church? Praise the Lord! As I was sleeping, wish the person. Shut up, go chop. Go and eat his hunger. His weakness, you are weak. Think about it. Which wish? Which wish want to go press somebody like Adeluka for a house? First of all, the house. Have you seen the house? Up to like 200 rooms. The wish don't know which room to go to. The AC, have you been to the house? The much more standard. The AC, you, pneumonia will kill the wish. You see the wish for chemists. Oh, I'm gonna get something for cold, my ribs. Oh, I'm, gonna die. I'm telling you, it's different. Rich people, their problems different. Like the first time I was ill and I went to the hospital and they said, it was the way the guy said it. The guy said, You're down with pneumonia. I was like, Really? Because the way they say it, yeah, you are down. With pneumonia. Because I'm tired of those cheap, cheap sickness, malaria, typhoid. Malaria, why can't go tell person say, oh, eh, are they sick? What do you malaria? Ah, ah, basket. You don't get money for fleet. No. I'm like expensive sickness. When people, like, you know, when they say I get brain tumor, which means this guy they think well, well, oh, oh. no, those guys, they tell you, I don't know how brain tumor they come, but I get feelings, I don't know, you know, I just like expensive. But if you have malaria, the way the doctors will tell you, so okay, you get malaria, you get. But well, pneumonia, you're down with pneumonia. It's different. The rich people, they don't behave way. We, the back of people, we are. Look, you will never, ever see a rich man begging his wife. Those kind of back of people begging. It's different. The rich people, the apology is different. Even you people, and let me say this before I even go on to say what I want to say. What, what people are doing will not work. All you rich people, they will work. Before, when we were still poor, it was chicken. If you eat chicken in your house, that's when you know you are a big man. Now that we've hustled, we cannot afford chicken. You people now say chicken is not good. The skin part is not good for the heart. Now we have a ton, not rich. Now, you know who can be. We, we could not eat beef, beef, beef. When I was young, we couldn't eat beef. Back out to the core, we was fish. Titus fish. Now that we can afford beef, you people are saying this because it's hard. We will die. We will die. We will die. Let us die. Wait. Only one I want to enjoy. Though I was at Jekule, I was born in Ajegule. No jokes. I'm not joking. Those days we were doing flood. You know, it's just like this in Houston. That small flood that was in their knee. They the shout, Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Shut up. These white people, they are all spoiled. Small team. Oh my God, they took light in Amsterdam for seven days. One woman died because there was no light for seven, seven, seven days. She died out of shock. Nigeria, give us light for seven days. We will die out of shock. Wait, light versus hey! These white people, they are all spoiled. As I was saying, before you know, there's no way. Let me, let me give you how bad it is. Sir, that's your wife, right? Your wife? Beautiful wife. How long have you guys been married now? Madam, how long have you been married? How many years? 40. 41 years. On a marriage, see you me. Which means your first child, now my mate. You mean that? And they are still together. See, social media, they spoil things now. I'm telling you, see, those days, till now, they are still, these days, and not the problem. The problem is, it's not back then. Our mothers and our fathers, when they go out, they've gone out. 
there was no way to track them, nothing. Honey, I'm in a meeting. I am in a meeting. Honey, there was a flat tire. There was flat tire. These days, these guys don't spoil. Honey, I'm in a meeting. Show me the picture. Show me the video. Ah. I saw my wife. They do me. I tell my wife one day. Not like, but let, but let me explain what happened there. What? Well, I want, I want, There's no need to even explain to you people. Not be saying now that my papa. What happened was I was in a hotel. Anyway, she she shall call. Honey, where are you? I said I was in the board meeting. She said, put it on video call. <laughs> Come and see me running up and down the hotel looking for all the staff of the hotel. Okay? Get all your staff. You're on a board meeting. Oh, God. Go on the waiters. We're here for one of the things we're here for. Um, we've talked about this when it comes to speed in opening accounts and doing transfers. But this one is even faster than normal. This one is. It's, 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 it, what's the word? What's the word that is faster than normal? It's rapid, right? After speed, now rapid, I mean. Yeah. Before fiam. <laughs> no fiam is the local word that we use. Let's say that guy fiam. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to experience today, this is the future. All right, so I want you to remember this because next year, next 10 years, we will remember this day and go like, I was there when it was unveiled. Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready? This, is, um, this guy, well, before you do this, you know, excuse me, Your Excellency, the senior, ladies and gentlemen, we're trying to get this whole thing right. You ready? To, you know, you know, we need the effect, and this effect with the keyboard is key, like it's important, right? I you know that's what the pastors in churches, that's what they use. I don't know if you've noticed when the pastor wants to catch you, this is what they use. If you don't want to collect money from your hand, <laughs> you, you, you get that tune. Go to pastor that tune. Give me. Now, I'm going to preach like I'm a pastor. Hmm? Not yet. No, no, you're that one. You're that one. The other one, when they're sorrowful, when they're emotional. You know, pastors, when they want to preach, you, you guys are there. He's my uh, good man. Now, don't play it yet. Now, I'm going to do this. Hold on, hold on. This is a pastor preaching without a keyboard. This is a pastor now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Answer me now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, the Lord told me this morning to talk to you, my brothers and sisters. You know, we need to dip our hands in our pockets and donate to the new uh, church that we are building to the glory of God. You see? It didn't work. Give me that thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Praise the Lord. My brothers and my sisters. This morning the Lord told me in my heart and in my soul. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, it's working. So the Lord told me to tell you, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to dip your hands in your pocket. <laughs> dip your hands in your pocket. So we can put our own. <laughs> Killer. I don't see some people don't put out for pocket. <laughs> Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like us to welcome. Ready? Ready? I'd like to welcome. The MD, our Ogari are celebrating today as well, Mr. Patrick. Can we give him a round of applause? Thank you talk. Mr. Patrick, keep on talk. Please. Round of applause. For you. See that? Increase it. I need more. More, more, more volume, more volume, more volume. What we're experiencing today, ladies and gentlemen, is different. This is the future. Echo Bank is about to show you something. That is faster than light, faster than speed, faster than lightning. Something you can trust on, something you can rely on. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the future of Echo Bank. Thank you very much. The fastest way. It don't spoil. These days, technology is spoiling everything now. Every, and now, women want to catch men by all means. 
I know the way they used to catch the hand. For the men, let me just tell you, give yourself sense when you want to lock your phone. Eh? Women, they know. If they want to know your password, they will just give you chicken to eat. Fried chicken. As you eat the fried chicken, you will not say, oh, baby, let me use your phone to make a phone call. You can't use that oil. No matter how you clean the oil, small oil was still there. As your wife, fian, 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 fian. As she picked the car, she didn't look the team. They would turn down for light. She look you. She don't know. You know, it's by the swiping of the phone, the lock, those Samsung lock. That's how you know men that have women outside. So men, okay, do you have lock on your phone? No. Okan does not have lock on his phone 41 years. Why the marriage don't last long? Yeah. You see all these small children. Lock full phone. Let me use your phone. Me, I'm one of them. I know who lie. We tell some people, honey, let me use your phone. <laughs> let me open it. <laughs> that way you know that he has like one or two girlfriends. The one that has like four or five. <laughs> The ones that have like six, seven. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a good evening.